Welcome back, everyone. Hope, happiness, and healing. For children fighting life-threatening diseases, that's a combination served up at a unique Florida village. It's called Give Kids the World. We're making children smile and making memories that will last forever are the number one priority. Now let me share with you a little bit of the magic and a lot of the love I found at the storybook Home Away From Home. Welcome to a world where little girls who lost their curls can be princesses, where the face of heartbreak and illness fades away. Here you are in the middle of a gingerbread house. I know, it's amazing. Where furry friends and loving strangers hold you and don't let go. For the first time in a lot of their lives, they're normal. They're in a situation where no one's staring, everybody's just having a good time. Tucked away a stone's throw from Disney World, you've entered a village unlike any other. It's welcome that unfolds for children with life-threatening diseases. It's called Give Kids the World. <laughs> It's 9 a.m. and children dance the morning away. These little warriors are all battling cancer. They've journeyed here from Israel, Russia, and Sweden. Wheelchairs and crutches are pushed away. And for seven days, the soldiers of volunteers carry them to Innocent Heights. It's incredible. It's overwhelming joy. Joseph Zavoloni is founder of the Florida-based wish-granting nonprofit Simka Limedin, My Wish for You. Every year he shepherds children battling cancer to the village, which provides a storybook home away from home, all expenses paid. We have children here, girls, that wear wigs on the everyday. They take off their wigs here because they know it's beautiful and they know they're beautiful for who they are because they feel surrounded with warmth and love. Mark Hoeing sees it every day. We say that this is a place where happiness inspires hope, and it really is because we've had so many cases where a child will come here and their perspective changes. All of a sudden, they, they see hope again for themselves. Miami mom Zaria Williams and her twins have moved into one of the 146 family villas, a blissful respite in advance of upcoming heart surgery for her youngest daughter. Get up, we got a visitor. As her little ones found out, instead of doctor visits, kids here get house visits from the village mayor, a bunny, who tucks them into bed every night. Children awake early because rain or shine. They can't wait to get to the parks. These children, unfortunately, have lost their childhood. Pamela Landwith, president, Give Kids the World. Children who should be out playing and experiencing all the joys of childhood are now, you know, settled between doctor's appointments and hospital stays. And so we want to take them out of that world here and remind them how great it can be to be a kid again. The handprint of hope here comes from a very special man, its founder, Henry Landworth. He's now 86, but as a boy, he was imprisoned in Nazi death camps where his parents were killed. His childhood stolen, but he escaped with a dream to someday help other children. He felt like he had lost his childhood, so he sees himself in these children's eyes. The fuel that keeps the village running, thousands of volunteers, like Robert Harrington of Coventry, England. Well, this has got to be heaven on earth, yeah, it is. hasn't it? Do you think it's heaven on earth? <laughs> well, just look around, because really, it's there touching us. There's so much love, I'm surprised some of the roofs don't fly off. <laughs> the children and their parents chronicle their stay and write in the village book. And given that they have a very famous face who visits here a lot, this is understandable. Dear God, I think this place is Fabu Mouse. It makes me feel good. They leave with memories, hope, and a star named after them that at least here will forever shine. I tell you, I will never, ever forget visiting there. And joining me now is Mark Hoeing. He's a communications manager for Give Kids the World. And he was my personal ambassador <laughs> who really brought me into this very, very special world. And also a very special mother joining us this Mother's Day, Danny Aponte, your mother of a wish child, a beautiful child who's here in our studio with us. And you actually brought your daughter there and your whole family. Yes. And as a mother, you know, I mentioned at the top of the show about being caretakers, especially if you have a child with challenges, right? It's so overwhelming at times. What did it mean of being the mom to be able to go to give, give kids the world? It was just, like I always say, it's a little piece of heaven on earth. Yes. For me, that's what it was for me. Yes. 
And how did you find the link to get there? The link actually was from Make-A-Wish that sent us over there. Here in South Florida, because yes, yes, we know they're very, their presence is very big here and people give a lot to them. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, you know, they don't know your side of the world of mm -hmm. where those donations go. True. And it made a big difference for yes, you. It sure did. We're going to talk about that in a second. You know, Mark, we, we did that piece. It right. was a thrill for us. Did you get a lot of feedback on it? it I'll tell you, Michelle, it was, it was awesome. We got such incredible feedback. Social media, you know, we have a huge social media presence, about yes. 76,000 friends on Facebook. People yes. want to tell their story, put pictures on, things yes. like that. So we had a, such a great response. We had so many people come to us through Facebook and uh, other social media outlets and say, what can I do to help? How can I help? I don't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of time. What can I do? And so we've come up with a lot of ways that people can help us around the world. Yes, and that was what we thought would be fun to talk about a little bit yeah. because we want to make sure that if you have a child that you want to make a relationship, we're going to help you with that. But also if you want to help so that families like yours can go, they have some very special programs for the summer. And let's talk about there's so many thrilling things to do there and not do there because you can relax. But what a great thing is the kids get to eat ice cream for breakfast if they want. Tell me about that. <laughs> well, it's open all the time the ice cream parlor is open so you can go in there for breakfast lunch dinner <laughs> in between yes so the kids enjoyed it and my daughter did she loved it it was just beautiful because it's a period of time it's a place where there are no rules you're away from the doctors the blessed doctors but the doctors with white coats and the kids really get to do whatever their fantasy is yes this is true so they get to eat whenever yes. they want to and yes. do whatever they want to at whatever time of the day. Yeah. And tell us, that having breakfast, yeah, ice cream for breakfast, came from a very special event. What was that? Yeah, it really did. I, it, what had happened was our president was in the ice cream palace at like 7 in the morning. We yes. were serving ice cream about noon. Yes. And so um, the little boy knocked in the window and uh, the president went to the door and said yes. And the little boy said, could I get some ice cream at 7 in the morning? Yes. So she said, come on in. And the next thing you know, there are 20 kids in line. And so it, it's it. become a tradition that good kids are so once during the week as a special treat the yes. kids have ice cream for breakfast with their parents and that. now that's become our signature fundraiser yes. and so what we do across the world actually anybody who wants to put together an ice cream social in their community whether it's a church group civic group a, a bunch of uh, families want to get together yes. community groups whatever it is put together an ice cream social get the ice cream donated and and uh, have uh, you know ask people to make contributions to give kids the world so it's a great way to help it's a great way to help kids with life-threatening diseases indeed and it's such a happy event I mean and what child and family wouldn't love to do that Absolutely. so you put together you know and, and it's grassroots you can come up with whatever you want you right. know have the uh, ice cream truck stop by yeah. and your donations then can go to give kids the world I, I think it's a wonderful thing I, I hope it really takes root in South Florida we all love ice cream I should have had some here for us today on this Mother's Day, you know, what can you share with us? I mean, obviously, we never know what medicine does, what hope does, but do you feel, I mean, your daughter is doing really well today. Yes, do you feel that it, that visit there really had an impact on her? Yes, it did. I would say as a family, well, as a mother, I didn't yes. have to stop and think, okay, let's see, next appointment is in two hours, three yes. hours, or tomorrow. Yes. We just was there for the whole week, and we just, we were catered to. And I was catered to Aww, as a mother. You deserve <laughs> that. Was special. That. Yes. So, and I know when we were watching our piece before, you had tears in your eyes. Tears were coming to my eyes. I think it's because a lot of times, <clears throat> and before I went there, I thought, my gosh, will I cry there because these children are fighting these diseases and illnesses? But you know, once you walk in there, it's yeah. like Smile City. It really is, and it's it, it's really for the first time in a lot of their lives, as I said before, they, yes. it, they feel normal. Yes. You know, they're, they're nobody's staring at them. They're just having a great time yes. with their families, family bonding. And we have a board member who I think put it best. He said, you know, we don't come up with drugs. We don't come up with cures for anything. Yes. But what we do is we dispense joy, hope, and love, the three most powerful drugs on the planet. So, you know, I think he has it right. That's exactly what we do, and yes. we give these kids hope that there can be a better future. And for those who want to contact you, the best way to reach you, Mark, it's uh, gktw.org or givekidstheworld.org yes. and you can find out, out about ice cream for breakfast. You can yes. find out about all the different things we do. Yes. We also work with 250 wish granting organizations around the world. Yes. So. Well, I thank you. You drove down here today from Orlando right. just to be part of our Mother's Day <laughs> edition of the show because you deal with a lot of mothers there Absolutely. and they're very beautiful children. And mom, I want us to send you the biggest hug from everybody who supports the program and you're a tremendous mom. We all know that. Thanks for coming in today and your whole family's in the studio yeah. so we send kisses to them and we're going to be taking pictures together shortly so happy mother's day happy mother's day